and enough is enough. If you've got something to say, say it directly, but you will not find that I ever changed a view or a vote because of any donation that I ever received. You know, so I think it's time to end the very artful smear that you and your campaign oh, have been carrying oh. out in recent weeks. And let's talk, let's talk about the issues. Hillary Clinton during last night's Democrat debate accusing Bernie Sanders of running a smear against her over Wall Street. But of course, her speaking fees from Goldman Sachs totaled over $600,000 and prompts the question, exactly what might she owe Wall Street? So will this continue to be a problem for Hillary and be the latest drag on her campaign? Let's bring in our panel. First of all, someone with us for the first time, Skyping in from Washington, D.C., political commentator and editor of the blog conservativeblackchick.com, Crystal Wright. Crystal is also the author of Con Job, How Democrats Gave Us Crime, Sanctuary Cities, Abortion, Profiteering, and Racial Division. Now, Skyping in from Newsmax, New York, one of our friends who leans a bit to the left, noted radio and TV commentator Ellis Hinnikin. Thanks to you both for being here. And uh, Ellis, last night's Democrat debate, uh, was that wise for Hillary to go after Bernie about an artful smear? Well, it's fine. I mean, they're running against each other. I, I would expect a, a couple of elbows thrown. I got to tell you, though, J.D., I'm a little torn on the lecture fee thing. I mean, I do think it's a bad practice when the super wealthy are giving either campaign contributions or lecture fees to our politicians. It really does have an undue influence. I wish I could get together with my conservative friends and try and solve it. On the other hand, and, and I'll bet you you're even in this category, J.D., I like fat lecture fees. I want more fat lecture fees. I like it when people pay me to talk to them. And I don't think there's anything fundamentally dishonest about doing it. Well, it just uh, seems a little too close for comfort. Your take on it, Crystal. Do you take? I mean, you must take well, lecture let, fees, let's, right? Well, let, let's let Crystal discuss it, okay, Ellis? Hang on. Go oh, ahead, Crystal. Maybe Crystal takes them, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Ellis. Thanks, Congressman. You know, I think what was evident last night is Hillary Clinton doesn't want to talk about the issue. She doesn't want to talk about how she's been bought and paid for by Wall Street. It's not just $600,000, as Bernie Sanders pointed out, in Goldman Sachs speaking fees. It's the $9 million in speaking fees from hedge funds and drug companies, insurance companies, all the special interest groups that the Associated Press analysis came out with. And I think what was brilliant last night is Hillary's lies caught up with her. And Bernie Sanders pointed out that she can be bought and paid for by Wall Street, that in the 1990s, her husband, former President Bill Clinton, deregulated Wall Street with Glass-Steagall, and it goes on and on. And I think you saw by the clip that was played that she was roundly booed and, and she came off as angry and shrill. I think it was one of the worst moments of her entire campaign and she should have never agreed to this debate. And finally, I think it really shows the fact that a socialist like Bernie Sanders can be really a, a true challenger to Hillary Clinton shows you how far off the leftist cliff Obama has taken the Democrat well, Party. You know, it's and interesting, Crystal, you mentioned Bernie, but it turns out he's not the only one criticizing those big fees on speeches. Right. In an exclusive interview with our own Steve Malzberg here on Newsmax TV, Donald Trump says Hillary <laughs> has to answer for this. Let's look and listen to what the Donald had to say. I think she's going to have to. And, uh, you know, she's always claiming the big bad bankers. And then she gets hundreds of thousands of dollars to make speeches. And she says certain things behind closed doors. So I think she'll probably be forced to do that. So what about that, Ellis? Donald Trump uh, getting on the criticized Hillary bandwagon. Will it be effective? Well, I assume he, it doesn't surprise me Donald Trump wants to criticize Hillary, but, but I wish the three of us could have a balanced conversation on this thing. I, I know Crystal thinks it's horrible when Hillary takes money, but, but I mean, is it horrible when the Koch brothers fund every Republican campaign and these super wealthy people do it through their, their super well, PACs? It seems to me that there is a, let me just make this point quickly, there is a problem here when rich people are giving money to our politicians, but let's be honest about it and spread it across the board and let's get this money out. Because I think, Crystal, it sounds to me like you only want to get it out from Democrats and you're perfectly fine with it when Republicans take those big bucks. Well, I think Ellis makes a great point, but Ellis, the Koch brothers aren't running for president. And did you know that the top contributors 
to Hillary. They're giving money to people PAC. who are. Well, let me finish, Ellis. The top contributors to Hillary's super PAC are George Sor Soros and five other rich fat cats trying to buy this election. So I think that I'm all so for talking about super PACs. I'm all for talking about money, but I think that it's obvious. Hillary Clinton is a two-faced, so. corrupt politician. So is her husband, and they are always flirting with what's unethical and un illegal. And and that's been the story. Well, of the well I tell you what, we guys, do have here's going the, here, here's game. Here's the problem. Uh, I know there's a problem, the problem, Ellis. Here's the real problem. We're out of time, but this was such. <laughs> An invigorating discussion. We're going to bring you both back. Crystal Wright from Washington, our good friend Ellis Hennigan from New York. Thanks to your both. Uh, Pete Hoekstra on John Kasich when we come back.